Hello, I'm Michael with Teledyne FLIR. Today I want to show you how to connect our A-Series Science camera to the FLIR Research Studio software and get your first thermal image. It doesn't matter the order you connect everything, but I like to make connections at the camera first and work my way back towards the computer. I'll first grab the supplied 2 meter cable with the M12 connector at one end and the standard Ethernet connection on the other. To connect the cable, line the arrow on the cable connector with the side of the camera. Once engaged, you'll want to screw the connector fitting into the camera until the connector is fully seated. Plug the other end of the cable into the port on the PoE injector labeled out. To connect the camera to the computer using the PoE injector, I recommend using the 2 meter Ethernet cable supplied with the kit. You will want to plug one end of the Ethernet cable into the port on the PoE injector labeled in, and then plug the other end of the cable into an available Ethernet port on the host computer. And if you need an even longer distance between the camera and the PoE injector, you can use the supplied M12 to RJ45 adapter pigtail. When you first connect the camera to power, the power status indicator will have a steady pink light while the camera boots up. This light will eventually turn to a flashing blue light, which is an indication that the camera is operating normally. If at any point you see a steady red light, this means there is a camera malfunction. In the rare case that this happens, we recommend rebooting the camera or contacting Teledyne FLIR support for assistance. The Ethernet status light will flash green when the camera is connected to a network indicating network activity. If you do not see a green light, it means the camera is not connected to the host computer's local area network, and you may need to reconfigure network settings on the local computer. Once the camera is fully powered with the correct status lights illuminated, you can open FLIR Research Studio software. Once it loads, you will want to click on the Scan for Cameras icon. Research Studio will provide a list of all connected cameras you can connect to. Once you've placed the live camera image within the interface, you're ready to start viewing, analyzing, recording, and sharing thermal data. For more information on the FLIR A-Series Science Kits, please visit us at teledyneflir.com.